four months after the Caldor fire tore through parts of El Dorado County, two men accused of starting it appeared in court on Zoom. So the fire forced thousands of people to leave their homes. It threatened ski resorts in the area, cabins, and it also destroyed more than a thousand structures altogether. The father and son are charged with reckless arson. Their attorney says they're innocent. It's alleged to be an accident. They called it in right away. And then, you know, if there was any delays thereafter for whatever reason, is it fair to hold them responsible for it? The men entered not guilty pleas today. Case Area 3 Stephanie Lynn spoke with defense attorneys on the case that they are building. They are completely innocent, had no intention nor involved in any setting of a fire. The defense gearing up for what's expected to be an intense fight for a not guilty verdict in the trial of two men arrested for starting the Caldor fire. They've lived here their whole lives. This is their community. They don't want to set it on fire. Today we got our first glimpse of the defendants at their arraignment hearing. Father and son Travis and David Smith appeared on screen over Zoom wearing orange prison jumpsuits. Defense attorneys entered in not guilty pleas on behalf of the two men. They have been completely upset about the fire that took place since the day they first spotted it. But they don't have remorse because they didn't do anything wrong. Again making the argument, the Smiths called 911 when they spotted the flames. They kept calling back, making sure, hey, there's a fire, do something about it, notified other people. That's not the conduct of somebody who's behaving recklessly. That's responsible conduct. The defense also planning to raise questions about firefighters' response time. Agencies may have let this go for a little while for whatever reason. Well, the question is, is you know, do you then hold these individuals responsible for that? We hope to really, you know, be able to gather that type of evidence about the delay, why the delay, and what was the effect of the delay. The Caldor fire destroyed hundreds of homes and two thirds of the town of Grizzly Flats. Many survivors, like mom Katie Thomas, are living out of travel trailers to get by. And I'm at such a loss about the whole thing because you ruined our lives. They look forward to the opportunity to prove their innocence in this matter. And I'm told that the defense expects to receive the evidence gathered by the DA's office sometime tomorrow. We also did reach out to the district attorney's office for some additional context on this case. They said they are not taking any interviews at this time. Reporting from Placerville from the El Dorado County Courthouse, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News. And the Smiths are expected back in court next Monday. For now, they're still in jail on a million dollars bail each.